My name is Elaine Crane. I'm the founder of Austin Sugar Works, where we make handmade, all natural sugars uh, for use in beverages. I've always been a little bit of a frustrated manager. I guess that's part of my personality, but it's also part of my training. You know, I went to business school for both my undergrad and then my, you know, for my master's. And so, you know, all those classes are about how you manage, you know, it's how, how do you make these tough decisions? How do you prioritize? And it's hard for me not to do that. And so when I was in positions where that wasn't, a, you know, a job requirement of mine, I did find it frustrating. Most entrepreneurial spirits will be dissatisfied, unfulfilled, working for somebody else. Most entrepreneurs want to see if they can create on their own. So in that way, this has been, you know, a dream come true, really. I mean, what I, what I feel now is, you know, I am getting to try out all these crazy brain schemes and ideas that I had. Responsibility can be kind of liberating, you know, the feeling that it's important what you're doing. And so I kind of thrived off that so far. We'll see, you know, at some point, you know, down the road, if the responsibility becomes too much, I may not be as chipper. <laughs> um, but right now I'm really enjoying it. If you want to work for yourself, then you want to be a bootstrapper. Because the minute you get venture capital money, you now work for them. Um, I kind of look at bootstrapping as cutting costs. I kind of looked at what I thought my strengths were and made sure that that kind of stuff was the stuff I bootstrap. Um, can I do my own website? Yes, I can. Can I do, um, you know, social media outreach? Yes, I can. You know, my own PR kind of stuff. So the ideal entrepreneur is good at lots of things. They'll bring in people to optimize the company, but all by themselves or with their, their team, they can get the job done. Having said that, that doesn't negate the need for money. You're still gonna have some stuff you have to pay for. Permits, there's no way to work off a permit. How much money does it cost you to live? Let's, let's use massages as an example. If it costs somebody $30,000 to live, how many massages at $100 an hour do they have to do a week, a year, a month to create $30,000. So, I mean, that's the, the first kind of reasonable test. For me, um, part of because I left a job that was lower paying, um, another benefit is I don't have to make so much money to be quite happy uh, with this enterprise. You know, I have a, a pretty um, low bar to hit to be just as good, well off as I was before. Once you're past the f fear of failure, I think most of the stresses in a startup are related not to you, but to the people that you live around. The spouse of the entrepreneur has to be a very patient, understanding person because that spouse is no longer first, the business is. My family's been incredibly supportive and, I, and I, I can't stress enough how important that's been because that was never really a concern of mine. My spouse has been so relieved because he was just sick of hearing me <laughs> talk about it for <laughs> so much, how much you know, I wanted to do this thing and he was just sort of like, so do it. And um, I think he had reached the conclusion long before I had that I needed to pursue something different with my line of work. And having this idea already cooking just sort of fed that entrepreneurial fire, I guess you would call it. <laughs> There's been so many things I love about having started my own business finally, um, but one of the ones that's kind of affected me personally the most is seeing my little boy um, basically playing at, at being an entrepreneur. You know, he's four years old, and you know, now when he gets out the Play-Doh, he's making sugars and trying to sell them to you. And it's just really, really cool to see that kind of uh, empowerment happening from him, from just seeing me shift roles into something that he finds interesting enough to mimic. Um, is kind of a little, you know, self pat on the back situation that I've really, really enjoyed. It's challenging and exciting and frustrating and uh, wonderful, just like any you know committed relationship is. <laughs> and so, um, there's nothing bad to be said about uh, growing and learning, and uh, that's what I'm going to be doing a lot of.